With us now is William Ludwig. Welcome to the show, William. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. How are you? Good. Are you calling in from set? No, I'm calling in from my kitchen. <laughs> from your kitchen. Okay. Well, I know it's very early for you in Los Angeles, and a lot of times actors have to get up very early to get into hair and makeup, so I thought maybe that was the case today. No, I actually, I, I do have to go to set right after this. I am, I'm filming a Nickelodeon show this morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you grow up loving Nickelodeon? Um, I grew up as a Disney Channel kid, I'll be honest, uh, but I do like Nickelodeon. The, you know, I remember when that channel launched, um, and I have older kids, they're like 30 and 27 and 16, um, but Nick was always so fantastic and there's still such a great network. What are you, what project are you working on for them? I'm, I'm working on a show called Side Hustle, um, and, I, and I did an episode of it in, back in March, uh, and they're calling me back, which is awesome. That's awesome. I also know that you recently um, got to do a big film. What was that experience like working um, as a young soprano? Well, honestly, it was awesome. It was a little bit scary at first because it's these huge shoes to fill. But uh, once I started meeting uh, everybody working on it, like the director, Alan Taylor, and Michael Gandolfini, who plays teenage Tony Soprano, and working with people like Alessandro Novola, who plays Dickie Moltisanti, who's the lead of the film, they all just made me feel really comfortable in this environment, and they helped me learn who Tony Soprano really is as a character and what he means to so many people. I thought it was so touching, too, that his son uh, portrayed him as a young man, and then you played even the younger Tony. Um, what did you, I guess, what did you think about that, that uh, choice? And, and how interesting was that to actually have his own son be uh, playing him? You know, Michael never talked about his dad too much. Um, he'd talk about the character mostly because that's what our job was uh, when we were filming this. He'd talk a lot about uh, who Tony Soprano is, how we can portray his his innocence as a kid. Uh, and And only until after he finished filming, he would start talking about his dad. I think it's such a good experience for you. How did you land that role? That's a big role. Um, well, I did it like anybody else would. I auditioned for it. <laughs> you did? Okay, so uh, what was, can yeah. you walk us through that? Did they give you some sides or did you do it remotely or? Yeah, um, so we filmed this all uh, in 2019, which is also when I booked it. And um, so I went into this small, tiny audition room. It was just, it was honestly one of the smallest auditions we've ever been in. Um, and the sides were Untitled New Jersey Project, uh, and my character name was Tony, and it was Michael Gandolfini lookalike. And so we slowly kind of put the pieces together to figure out this is the Many Saints of Newark, the Sopranos prequel movie. So we freaked out a little bit. Um, and then I went in, and I was in the room for a solid 15 minutes. Like, that wow. never happens. Yeah, and then after, she came out and talked to my mom, which, again, never happens. So signs were looking up. Yeah, I, I would think that, that that's a good sign because usually they're like, next, or they're like, oh, or they'll say, oh, thank you. And then they just turn their head and you walk out the door. <laughs> the audition process sometimes is cruel, but uh, it was a good sign that they kept you as long as they did and that she came out to talk to your mom. What did you love best about uh, the process, about being on this film? I love the, the set pieces because it's based in 1967. At least my parts are based in 1967. Um, and it was like being in a time machine. Like you were transformed into this character, this little kid, like wearing these old timey cads and this, these, these leather jackets. And, and you felt really transported back into the 60s. It was so cool. They did a wonderful job. There are some big names that are uh, involved in that whole entire project. Did you keep anything like, you know, a piece of memento or, you know, what was it that you kept? I did. I kept I kept the old cads. They're like these super cool white cads, and I wore them in almost every scene that wasn't a funeral. Um, and they had this like cool blue stripe on the side, uh, and they're in my special things box in my closet. I love it. Uh, congratulations to you. And what are you most looking forward to next over the next few months? Um, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's reaction to this. I know we've gotten a lot of feedback and. Uh, and a lot of my friends have seen it now, and I'm really excited and, and fortunate to be able to have this experience. Uh, and uh, I'm, 
I'm really excited, honestly, all around. <laughs> well, it was well-deserved. Congratulations. I know we're going to be seeing more and more from you. Uh, and enjoy your time on set today. And thank you very much for dropping by, especially this early for you. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. It was it a was, great time to be here. It was very nice to meet you. Happy journeys to you. Be well. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. You too. William, thank you so much. Thank you so I wanna, much. I want to tell you a funny little story. So I helped discover a young man um, named Robert. He now goes by Rob uh, Montaro, and he's a pianist, and he got to play Archie.